My name is Barry Burkus. I'm an architect sitting in Santa Barbara, and I'm dreaming about places I've been, Europe, Asia, etc. Architects, in order to keep their minds fresh, exercise. Exercise the hand and the mind, as well as the body. When I think about where I've been and start looking at villages that I've looked at, and that have become memorable elements in my mind that influence some of the architecture that I do, I start thinking, it's really art but it's a form of saying how people have lived over centuries in these shapes and why. Why have these existed longer than other places that we look at where we live that have been torn down or that have become dated by the fact that the forms themselves are not as strong as they were when they were built and that they were trendy and this becomes something that has time built and it is memorable as a place that has spent many years in growth and many years between times when people have lived here and people have left. And the villages that we look at as we travel become very much an influence in the architecture and the drawings that we do. I love to look at these. I love to do these on airplanes as I'm flying. I'll do these when I'm sitting at the dining room table. I'll do them in restaurants for food. Many times the rest of tours will trade my drawings for food. Paris, other parts of France, Mexico, Spain. But these drawings become an exercise of memory, and they also show that the hand is something that still is awfully important in talking about who we are and where we've been. So the different drawings that I've done that I really love to look back on are imaginative villages. They don't exist, but they exist as dreams and forms in my mind that influence the architecture that I do today. So as people that draw, artists and architects, continue to exercise, have fun because it probably is the most enjoyable profession that anybody could ever be involved in.